All right, good morning. What I'm going to do is kind of give a basic layout of how the keyboard in the MIDI system is set up so that I can remember later on. This is the important cable. This is the USB out for the um, on the computer. Goes in the USB port right there. Runs over to the yellow green USB MIDI man and plugs in, in the back. That goes in the computer. The next cable is going to be a MIDI cable that goes from the out A of the MIDI man around and plugs into the keyboard on the back on the very far right. I think it says MIDI in. So that says MIDI in right there. Then a MIDI cable goes on the in of the MIDI man box and around into the pink box on the MIDI out left side. So this goes around and goes into the MIDI man. Next there's a MIDI cable, a gray MIDI cable on the left side here on the back of the box. It's MIDI in, goes around and plugs into the MIDI out of the teaching keyboard. This is the MIDI out, goes around into the MIDI in on the pink box. Then these two cables are MIDI. The black is the through cable and the gray is the emerge in and these two travel over to the first student keyboard right here on the far right side black and gray so the sequence on the student keyboards is this is in out midi in midi out midi through and midi merge these are the audio cables these run over and plug into the to this box here this is the merge box. So these two go to the uh, uh, the audio output of this box. Another important cable is this cable. This is the audio output on the computer and it goes over to the audio input far left side of the merge box. The merge box, which is right here, has a MIDI cable. It says output. This runs over to the pink MIDI man and plugs on the input on the uh, right side. So the MIDI in on the right side goes over to the merge box. Then there's the power cable, the antenna. These are the, uh, this is the audio inputs right here. It says two speakers. So these go to the speakers and these go to the student keyboards and these two cable, uh, cables go to uh, the other speakers. In case I forget, the basic sequence is these two cables, this black and gray, through and merge in, go, they're the return loop that plug in right here on this next keyboard. So these two go to those two, then out. This is in and out. The black cable comes there and then goes out. These two cables then go over to these two keyboards. So that it'll go in sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a picture of the last keyboard, number 15. The black cables are the outgoing cables and the gray cables are the incoming signals. So this would be, no I'm sorry, that's reversed. The black is the outgoing signal and the gray is the return signal back to the computer. This is out and this is in. So this comes in from the other keyboards, comes around, comes in, then goes back out, goes around to the 14 keyboard, goes merge in, then out, merge in, out and so on. The black cables are hooked up in such a fashion. This is the end cable from the master cable that comes out from the uh, teacher keyboard right there. This is the uh, through. So this is through, black cable through to in, then through, in, through, in, and so on down the chain and then it goes on the floor. There's a long MIDI cable here. 
the long black cable goes around to this keyboard right here and plugs in the back on the back of this keyboard on MIDI in. This is MIDI in, MIDI through, and it just continues down the chain. This would be all the way until you get to the last keyboard. Then the gray cables return the signal back to the computer.